सो है गाइज वेलकम टू प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट वर्ल्ड एंड वी आर हेयर विद और अनदर वीडियो एंड विच इज रिलेटेड टू द कॉस्ट एस्टिमेशन टेक्निक्स सम मैथड्स विच वी यूज इन कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट टू एस्टिमेट द कॉस्ट सो दिस इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक अंडर कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड यू विल सी सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दीज टेक्निक्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस if you can see the screen here so these are the four cost estimation techniques or estimation method which are used in to estimate the cost based on the project scenario so we apply one of them or all of them based on the requirement of the project so uh, these are four total we have and i'll explain one by one each each one so let's just go through it so first one we have is the analogous estimation second one we have parametric estimation third one bottom up estimation and the last one is three point estimation so these are the four techniques that we used under the cost management chapter to estimate the cost of a project or uh, and yeah so let's move into the detail of each these estimation technique analogous estimation so as per definition what it is saying that it is a technique that uses information from a similar past project in order to estimate the cost and duration of a planned project so what we do here uh, we just see if we have done this similar project earlier so we just take reference from them and then we put the estimation accordingly for example uh, maybe one year before we did the completed the almost similar project and we have the cost of for example raw material we have yes we have purchased for this cost so we just take reference from that and then we do the estimation that yes uh, this will this activity will cost this much so that is what is analogous estimation second one we have is parametric estimation so what it is it is kind of a quantitative uh and uses statistics to calculate the expected amount of resources needed to complete your project so what we do here we for example uh, under parametric for example i'm give the example of excavator so for example one excavator uh, like productivity of an excavator is uh, 100 cubic meter per hour so based on that we can calculate estimation like how uh, when it will complete the 10000 cubic meter or just to simple multiply by simple formula and by this we can get to know about the estimation what how many excavator we required to complete this job within this time so that's what is parametric estimation is all about third one we have is the bottom up estimation so it is a method of estimating project duration or cost by aggregating the estimate of lower level component of work breakdown structure so what we do we uh, like distribute or we can say we break the work into smaller activities and then we calculate the amount or effort for each activity and after calculating all when it gets roll up we have a complete cost budget so this is how it works bottom up estimation fourth and the last one we have is the three point estimation so this is nothing but happens here these based on the three factors so as we listed here so this method consider three estimate for each task the best case scenario which is optimistic then the worst case scenario which is pessimistic and the most likely case so these are the three factor we use here so what is the most likely most likely is something like uh, you can say this is something realistic effort we know that yes this this much time it active activity it takes in general so that is the most likely optimistic is the what was the best case scenario when everything happens smoothly then what would be the duration or cost of that thing and then the pessimistic is obviously the worst case scenario so these are the three factors and under this uh, three point estimation technique uh, we have two formulas uh, first one is the triangular distribution and second one is the beta distribution which is also called as a pert you have heard this terminology pert pert program evaluation and review technique so let's discuss two two so if you see the screen so this is the formula for the triangular distribution e is in, uh, the expected value we have and the formula we have is o plus p plus m divided by 3 so we are just doing the average by adding all the three values optimistic pessimistic and most likely so this is the triangular distribution formula we have here so this is the formula for the beta distribution so also also called as a pert so what is the difference here so what we are doing here so we are giving more weightage to the most likely scenario that have occurred so 
as you see in the formula as well optimistic ot is the cost optimistic time uh, most likely we have multiplied it by 4 so we are giving more weightage to the most likely value and then we have pessimistic time and then we are dividing that with the 6 so this is the pert formula two were the main part of the three point estimation and uh, we have discussed four uh, estimation techniques here uh, first one is the analogous second one is the parametric third one is the bottom up which is more accurate you can say and the last one we have the three point estimate which consists of two formulas the first one is the triangular distribution and the second one is the beta distribution so yeah hope you have understood something here and if you have any questions any feedback for me please feel free to reach me out in the comment section and uh, yeah we will come back again with another videos related to pmp exam or project management so keep supporting and have a good day Thanks